here, lights out. You're in your second season in the big leagues. I mean, you're embarking on 30 plus wins, so you're seated. Wins? <laughs> That'd be a record. All right, you're seated 30 plus saves. I mean, what is it like for you right now? I'm just having fun. Um, doing the exact same stuff that I did last year. I've just. Uh, having a little bit, uh, I guess, more opportunities this year. And uh, it's, been, it's, it's, been, it's been a fun year. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I love, love everybody in this clubhouse. And obviously, things haven't went the way we wanted them to go this whole year. But it's part of the game. It's going to happen. And uh, I mean, we've got a good core group of young guys. And I think uh, stuff we're going to do in the future is going to be pretty exciting. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for next year and, and the years to come. Now, and I know you don't have control over the offseason, but do you look expect a, a lot of changes for this team, considering that you know, the expectation was a little higher than what it turned out to be this year? Um, I think that's, that's something I really try not to worry about or focus too much on, because that's, that's something that you really have no control over. Um, if they, if they want to move 20 guys, if they want to move one guy, uh, it's out of our control, and there's nothing we can do about it. So, um, I mean, there's... There's some things that could happen probably, and some things that probably will. I don't. Uh, I don't think we're going to come into next season with the same exact team. I'm, I'm sure they're going to add pieces or, or subtract pieces. Um, that's up to them to decide, and that's uh, that's in their hands. But um, I'm just going to prepare myself and, and come into spring training as strong as possible and get ready for another year. So now you've gone out there and you pretty much established yourself as the man. Trying, I'm trying. So, uh, are you trying to become a career White Sox? I would love to. Um, I know nowadays it's, it's pretty rare that a guy stays with one team their whole career, but um, I mean, this this was a team I've drafted by. This is the only thing I've known. So, um, I mean, if it were up to me, I'd like to play 15, 20 years in, in Chicago with the White Sox, but uh, we'll see what happens. And if, if it was up to me, like I said, I would, I'd love to be here my whole career, but you know, it's business and things could happen any minute. Something could happen in five minutes, something could happen in, in 10 years. So. Uh, Nothing I can really uh, control, so it's, it's something I'm not going to try and think about too much. But if I had it my way, I'd stay here. So for our youngsters watching this show, I mean, what's some of the things that you do when you're not at the ball at the ballpark here in Chicago? Oh, what's some places you go? Well, first for the youngsters, uh, whatever this guy tells you, just <laughs> do the opposite. Uh, don't do whatever he tells you. This is my hero, so yeah, he uh, treats me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Coach is a good guy. Do whatever he tells you. Um, but outside of outside, I'm of the, telling that for you. Uh, uh, give me the money later for saying that. Um, outside of Chicago, I just like to hang out, uh, not do too much, just relax, uh, go eat. Uh, you get a new place here every night of the of the season, and not go to the same place twice. Uh, I mean, a lot of good food. Obviously, you got Michigan Avenue. You walk around, do some shopping if if you want to. But um, yeah, I like to kind of take it easy when. Not around the ballpark. Usually, I like to relax because we're here so long. So, uh, just relax, go out to eat, and whatever comes up. Yeah. So, a little over two years ago, you know, you were just being drafted in the minor leagues. What was that minor league experience like? For you? It was a fun. Brief minor league experience. Brief, yeah. Uh, it was fun. I mean, that's where. Uh, I mean, all, all my all my friends are. They're, they're still down there and they're working their way up. But it was fun. I remember just always. We'd try and in the minor leagues, you're not making too much money. So, uh, I mean, we'd have two, three bedroom apartments with six, seven guys in it, and uh, just bring my air mattress wherever I went. And whoever had an open den, I'd throw the air mattress in there and, and sleep on, on the ground. But uh, it was fun. Those are those are things that I'll remember the rest of my life. And obviously, it's better up here, but uh, those are things that I'll always remember for the rest of my life. And I heard something about some of the guys living off ramen noodles and peanut butter jelly. Oh yeah, uh, I mean. Try not to eat until you got to the field, because once you got to the field, it was it was free food and you didn't have to pay for it. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't remember how much we made, but it wasn't too much. And uh, you know, you go to the store and try and stock up on as much stuff as you can for for as little as possible. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. I had a blast. You know, a lot of kids watch you guys when they see you on TV, ESPN, and they think you guys live the same life in the. Minor leagues that you do in the major leagues. No, uh, that's why I try to get up here as fast as possible. Uh, it's a little bit better up here, but it, it's still fun, and there's there's nothing I would change about my experiences in the minor leagues, and those those things are things that I'll remember forever, and uh, hopefully I'll have some kids that could go through that as well.
And now, you know, you get chauffeured to the ballpark every day at the lip board, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's a good lifestyle up here. But, uh, I mean, if anything, it, it kind of shows that if you work hard, you could you can make it up here and, and not have to be in the in the minor league grinding for, for 10, 15 years. You hopefully, you could see kind of uh, the bigger and better things that are up here and, and want to work a little bit harder to get up here. So, I mean, when you look around and see your name in the locker, see your uniform, I mean, what is that feeling like? Do you still pinch it yourself? Oh, it's awesome. I think I will. If I think if I play this game for 10 or 15 years, I, I'm going to come in here with, with a big smile every day because it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. And uh, I'm, I mean, I'm playing a game for a living, and not many people can say that. So uh, every day I come in here, I'm having fun, and it, it's it's it, it's surreal because I mean, this is when I was little. From the, the very first thing I, I ever knew was baseball. So it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do, and the only thing I I dreamt of doing. So. Uh, now I'm getting to live it, and uh, I think for the rest of my life, as long as I'm walking in here, I'm going to be happy, and it's, it's, it's an awesome feeling. No one all my fans know this is my hero here. Lights out. This is my hero. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, appreciate it.